Microwaves. What would we be without them? Before we begin, I think I speak for everyone when I say the microwave is definitely the most convenient kitchen appliance. Sure, you have your coffee makers and toasters, but none come close to the amount of food that is prepared in the microwave. I mean, it's just perfect for preparing a last minute meal. Picture this, it's an average Saturday and you're doing some afternoon gaming on the Nintendo Switch, when suddenly 8 hours have passed, it's already 11pm, and you haven't eaten anything that day except for that morning bowl of cereal. What do you do? You could actually cook dinner for yourself, but it's late and you need to get your 12 hours of beauty sleep. Fret not, your microwave is here. Just heat up some of that good old ramen and you're all set. Even with all that praise, I do not think that microwaves are perfect. That is to say, there are some things that I think Big Microwave could improve on. First off, let's all be honest here, we appreciate how microwaves beep when they're done. But why do microwaves feel the need to beep three times? I mean, I do appreciate knowing exactly when my food is done, but if I can open the door, get my food, and close the door, it should not still be beeping. And if you get a bad microwave, the beeping can be in the neighborhood of uh, 150 decibels. Sometimes, I like to be able to use my ears for the rest of the day. You know what's something I'm honestly surprised the microwave industry hasn't picked up on yet is? The mute button. Seriously, what kind of billion dollar corporation can't invest the tiniest amount of work to get some sort of mute functionality going on these things? And maybe you could add a flashing mute light just if you were feeling generous. I'll be the first to admit that some form of notification is definitely needed though. I know my toaster could do a better job on that part, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, 87% of the time my toaster just won't let me know my toast is done until I forget about it and come back an hour later to find a cold piece of toast just sitting in the toaster. What was this video about again? The knob, the most practical solution for setting cook time on your micro ave. Its unique revolving design allows for the ultimate selection process. Nonsense! Moving parts wear much faster than traditional touch inputs. Sure, buttons may take longer, but they surely last longer, right? Yes, I prefer knobs. I mean, they're simply much more convenient because it takes less time to get the time you want. But on the other hand, having fewer moving parts will make your appliances last longer, so buttons are better for longevity. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any evidence to back this up, and I mean, our oven's display broke before the knobs or buttons, so maybe it doesn't matter? But no, there ought to be an answer. Which is best? Who will come out on top? Who will prevail? What is the secret to the perfect microwave? What will the greatest microwave be? Who will invent such a monumental microwave? Find out next time on Microwave Ultimate. I'm just kidding. On the topic of buttons, why do some manufacturers like to include those weird buttons that everyone says they'll try out sometime, but that never actually end up using? Like, why are these here? Who uses these? This space would be better spent making the buttons that people actually use bigger, so that I don't accidentally put my popcorn in for 20 minutes instead of two. Or better yet, they could end the all-important debate by replacing that space with a knob. That's right, I said it. Buttons and a knob. It's the final solution. The last microwave. Anyway, those were my thoughts about microwaves. I hope you enjoyed them. If this video looked a bit different to you, that's because I'm now using Adobe Illustrator to draw all of my assets. With another video done and dusted, stay safe everyone, and wash your hands. Put some shrimp on the micro-wave. <laughs>